The video that you're about to see is for entertainment purposes only. Everything I say in this video is alleged. Hey everybody, welcome back. We are at part two of this episode. So if you missed part one, you need to go click on part two. All right, so we about to get into it. So we go do a continuation because last time I was talking, I was talking about Brandy, right? By the way, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Everything I see is a ledge, wink, wink. Anyways, y'all get the, the, the memo. So anyways, guys, um, we were talking about Brandy and Monica, you know, because Ray J done went out there and started this whole conversation about, you know, is there going to be another tour, which we will read about, you know, we definitely going to read about that. So, um, what was I going to say in my notes? Oh yeah. So I, I just honestly feel guys that, uh, it ain't going to be no Brandy and Monica. I mean, I, I just can't see it because if you really look at it, we got a new generation, right? Uh, kids. Y'all all know the kids buy the music, right? They are the ones that make you go on the charts. A lot of these old heads, they, you know, they had they shot. They had they time. Because it was the young people buying the music at the time. Now they all old, they grown, you know, they got kids. So I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I mean, Brandy is acting. She's doing successful in acting. I think she got a movie coming out this year, too. She got a horror movie coming out. And she got um, uh, Cinderella. I think she got that coming out as well. So... I do believe she was gonna, she's going to put out an album. Yes, I do. I do see that in the cards. I saw that. I think in one of my readings, I said that was going to happen. And Monica, she got health problems. So just to let y'all know, I just want to educate y'all youngins on Brandy and Monica. Because I know a lot of y'all don't know. Y'all, and I feel like I'm going to have to bring them back. Shit, I'm going to have to bring y'all asses back. Anyways, Brandy. Brandy is queen. Brandy is the original Queen B. Let's not get it twisted. Before there was a Beyonce, before there was a Britney Spears, there was a Brandy. And she was the first Queen B. She was America's sweetheart. Y'all forget. I mean, and that 211 album was everything. She it was dedicated to Whitney Houston, if y'all don't remember that. Because she that's the way, that's the reason she labeled. Both the album to eleven because she died on that.
Yes, yes. Aphrodisiac. Now that was a visual album. I, I, I hate to say this, but I mean, I, if we could turn the tables, if we could turn the, the time back, Aphrodisiac was that album. Her mama vocals was on point. I feel like she can make a visual to every track on that album. I'm sorry. That's that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. everybody all my peers all the people that i love and look up to are here so i'm excited all right we're excited that you're here now have you picked the next single work on your next video aphrodisiac yet? is the next single I'm really okay. excited about that all right so we're yes. gonna see you inside yes give it up brandy y'all doing that thing we're gonna go down the red carpet some of y'all i want to hear what y'all say in the comments never say never was brandy's best album and me and the other few people chastity you you know you know girl Never Say Never was the album. The production was good. Brandy had commercials. She had so much success. She was a cover girl. Cover girl. 
she did double platinum with Diana Ross. She did Cinderella with Whitney Houston. She had Moesha coincide with the album as well. Y'all remember that? Mama had her own show. First black girl to have her own sitcom. She did a horror movie at the same time. I still know what she did last summer. What's happening, lovers? We're going to get tropical. We're going to get tropical. This weekend, all Carla and Tyrell wanted was to be alone. Unfortunately. It's happening again. What? Someone's about to cut their weekend short. Tim Willis is dead. You killed him. They never found the body. This November, Friday the 13th. We can sit in away from the pickup song, or we can go find them first. There's no getting away. Julie, watch out! I still know what you did last summer. Rated R. Opens everywhere Friday. And she had a Brandy doll. Brandy's so cool. Now Brandy's a doll. So let's get by Sparkle pants. Style and skirt. comes with two outfits, stand, and pretend microphone. You can make your dance. I think Brandy was the first one to have a, a Brandy, uh, a black doll. Before there was Christina, there was uh, Brandy. First girl. Brandy was on top of the world. I mean, literally. She was our Queen B, and I hate to say, I don't want to say she, she, she was, she still is Queen B. Her vocals is out of this world. And for Monica, we've been waiting on chapter 38. You 43. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, we've been waiting on that goddamn album for a long time. But I swear, I feel like, Monica, you don't miss the opportunity. You know, your ass is over here trying to catch. Catch up with C Murder ass trying to free his ass. You could have been putting all that goddamn energy in that goddamn chapter 38. I'm just saying. And Ray J, I get it. I get it. You Brandy's sister. I, I get it. You know, you just covering for your sister. And Monica, you got to understand that. That's her brother. He going to do what he got to do. But at the end of the day, Ray J, just mind your goddamn business. That's all I got to say at the end of the day. I mean, for real. I mean, Ray J, you need to figure out your household shit. And before you try to figure out somebody's business, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You're very worried about the wrong goddamn things. You need to worry about your goddamn life. Just saying. Oh, y'all don't get me started today. Anyways, moving on from that, y'all. But I just thought I'd educate y'all on the Brandy thing. Now we go get into it. Now we go freaking get into this goddamn reading. Is there going to be a Brandy and Monica tour? Let's see. Let's see what the cards say. I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot and this one. All right, Spirit, if you don't mind, could, Spirit, could you please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. What is around Brandy and Monica, Spirit? If you don't mind, could you please bring Brandy and Monica's Spirit guys into the room to communicate with my Spirit guys? Thank you. Question we ask, Spirit, will there be a Brandy and Monica world tour? Will they both ever go on world tour, Spirit? Please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Y'all, by the way, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Oh, dang. Entertainment only. Everything I say in this video is alleged. Wink, wink. Will they be a Brandy and Monica tour? Because, you know, Rachel don't get it out there. Spirit, please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Will they be a Brandy and Monica world tour you need to give it up everybody knows it's not hard to see that but it's mine so be the two come through <laughs> Spirit, please talk to me, talk to me. Will they be a Brandy album? Will they be a Brandy album, Spirit? Please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. 
When I first saw you, I already knew There was something inside of you Something I thought that I would never find Angel of mine Y'all, I ain't really trying to sing today. I'm just, I'm just Melanie. I'm just harmonizing. I ain't got my vocals up today. I ain't had no green tea. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Will Brandy and Monica go on a world tour? Spirit. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, y'all. Don't know what I ever do. From the beginning to the end. You've always been there. All right, Father God, please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Please, Father God, allow me to see and say anything and everything that you allow me to say and see. Will Brandy and Monica ever go on tour, Spirit? Yes or no? Please, Father God, allow me to see and say anything and everything you allow me to say and see. Brandy and Monica are your loves. They're your children. They're your beloveds. Please authorize me to see and say anything and everything you authorize me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. Okay, so before I get into this reading, a lot of y'all don't know what really happened with Brandy and Monica because there's a reason why they didn't go on tour. Well, back in the day when Brandy had the Never Say Never album, they had a fight. Apparently, it has something to do with so I'm just I'm let me just put it out there hell. Brandy had never seen it, right? She had this song called The Boy's Mind. And they asked her Brand well, I, I don't want to say they asked her. Brandy asked that this song should be a duet. So they were saying, well, who did she want to put on the the track? She said, Monica. Brandy chose Monica to be on the track. Now, remember, Brandy's older than Monica. Okay? About a year, I believe. Just a year. A year or two. Or a year, I think, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So, it would have been great for women coming together. You know what I'm saying? So, Brandy chose Monica to be on the track. That... Gave Brandy and Monica a Grammy. They didn't know that was going to happen. But during the process of that. There was a rumor going around that Brandy was talking shit about Monica. Bragging saying that the song is hers. The boy is hers. Or apparently something like that. I don't know. I forget. King Ketchup with times. Monica never liked Brandy, and Brandy never, you know, she was like, the, Monica's very ghetto when it came down to it. She was like, she's too proper, and she's too this, and I think Brandy might have looked at her a certain way a couple of times and looked at her like the little, you know. And so Monica punched Brandy during the time they was going to perform The Boy Is Mine Live. She punched her backstage. They could even get to the stage. Monica decked her in the face. <laughs> Popped in the face backstage. Yeah, she said, I knew she was going to say something flip. And uh, she was like, before she could even do it, I just, I was like, oh my God. And if you watch the clip, you can see the tension in Brandy's face. <laughs> I can't see how we could want 
Brandy gotta perform this song after what just happened and you can see how heated she is meanwhile Monica is eating it up living her best life so now the performance is over and Brandy had four minutes to sit in that shit look at that smile look at that that's that I got something for you bitch you don't even know so as they're walking off Brandy reaches over to Monica as if to give her a hug <laughs> but it ain't no hug it's a rumble <laughs> And right after the performance, you see Brandy grab Monica around her neck. And that's when they have to fight. Ding, ding. That's what happened. That's the true story. So, um, anyways, get rid of that negative energy. We're going to see if they're going to get back together. Okay. So, will they be, will Brandy and Monica go on a world tour? Let's see what spirits say. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I get achievement. Keep focus on the dream. And this is in the past position. I get positive news, positive outcome. I see that it will happen. Looks like it's up for debate. I feel like the girls are cool with each other. Um, in the future, I do see a hidden path, right? There's something about marriage, spirit, or matter. There's something about money, success, and but this is always going to be eternal. It's always going to be rooted with love. These girls, they created history together. They always going to be together. In the past, I definitely get that they are definitely keeping. They're definitely keeping this thought in their head when it comes to the world tour. They are definitely keep focusing on this. Right now, they do get recognition and rewarded. Okay. When this world tour happens, it will be memories of love. It will definitely be memories of love. So that's what the Oracle cards say, right? The question is, will we asking, will 
Brandy and Monica go on world tour? Will they ever go on tour? Right now, I get a no because there's some confusion going on. There's a lot of choices that they need to make, each girl. So it's a lot of confusion. But at the same time, I do get there's a positive news and positive outcome. So I'm not going to say no yet, right? I'm not going to say no yet. What's crossing this is gossip and negative energy because of the fight. You know what I'm saying? That's what's crossing this. The problem they're standing on is they need a helping hand. It's money. But um, I'm going to say there's something about some flawed financial foundations. Right? There's something about false promises, poor management, poor planning, a false story. Could be some greed involved. Putting all their eggs in one basket, poor choice is what they're standing on. But at the same time, it is recognition and reward. What I see in the past, it was definitely a tense situation, but the tension has is now gone. What they know is they keeping this a secret. There's something about mo their moral compass. Something about a moral compass is off between one of the girls. But I do feel like they probably keeping this hidden. They're going to keep it a secret. What I see in the future is, is definitely going to be challenging. It's definitely going to be challenging, y'all. In their mind, they are thinking about the tour. They just, it got to be right. It got to be right. I do see that the offer is on the table, though. There is an opportunity for the girls to come back. Their hopes and fears is they're worried about cutting corners or, you know, they're they're worried about their, their career work is what their hopes and fears is. Will they be the same? Will they still be relevant? And the answer I get, the question we ask, will they ever go on tour? I'm going to say yes. They are definitely going to go. And I get strength. They're going to remain strong with this. Uh, they're going to be patient with this. Is there a possibility? Yes. So I'm going to read the cards again. What they know is they're keeping this a secret. Okay. There's something dealing with the music industry. There's a lot of things that's going on is what they know. But at the end of the day, they're going to be loyal to each other because remember, Brandy and Monica made history together. So they definitely, they if without that Grammy, once you get a Grammy, y'all, you done made it. It don't matter if it's one, you made it. And they did this together. What I see later on is, is the hopes and fears is when it comes to work. You know, in the past, it was a tense situation, but it's the tension is over with. But right now, there is definitely some confusion because there's a lot of gossip going on. People are talking shit and all this kind of stuff. The future is definitely going to be challenging when it comes to this opportunity. What they're standing on is flawed foundations. The money got to be right. And then in their mind, they are thinking about this world tour. They kind of, in a way, also feel like it's the end of a phase. So I didn't get a sun card, which I was hoping for. I'm going to pull some more cards to see. But uh, we'll we'll see what's going on with this, right? We're going to see. Um, when is this going to take place? Let's see. This is going to take place. Let's see. Let's see. Within seven days, seven weeks, seven months, or I'm going to say seven years. Could be seven years when this happens. Okay. Which probably will be, let's see, seven years, I'm going to say.
Could be seven months though, but I'm gonna say seven years. Doesn't four, five, six, seven. Probably in 2030. 2030, 20, 29, around that time, we'll have a tour. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a realist. I'm gonna keep it real. Monica, your voice ain't been on point. Your last performances ain't been so good. I'm just saying. Um, let me pull some more cards, see what else I get. What is y'all saying? Your voice ain't been so good. You know what? Block. Block. I don't got time for that. Don't come at me. I'm not trying to be a singer, okay? I had an idea once upon a time. Don't be coming after me. You go on, you on time out. Talking about my voice. What you talking about? Just because I'm talking about Monica. Anyways. In the past, there has something to do with some wasted energy. Right now, they both have doubt when it comes to their celebrity. I feel like in the past, they felt depressed. There's a lot of weight on their shoulder when it comes to this emperor man. I feel like this man is Clive Davis. Because they got to get the money from him. Um, I get Monica in the past when it comes to work. I feel like Monica has three projects that she's working on or she's being patient for. There's something about probably like three albums she either got to make or there's something about she's working on something. But she's being very, very patient when it comes to it. I get in the past, there was something about a useless sacrifice that time will tell when it comes to Brandy. Okay? Something about a useless sacrifice. Or maybe Brandy feels this is a useless sacrifice. Maybe she she's not wanting to do it. I, mean, I feel like Brandy's not in the mood to do this. She might as well just go pretty much solo. One, two, three, four. Because, I mean, if you really look at it, Brandy got the bigger catalog. I'm just saying. One, two, three, four. In the past, things were out of control. It was the end of a cycle when it came to fighting. Hmm. I think that was the whole thing about the, the fight, right? One, two, three, four. And then I get this water sign man in the past, Scorpio Pisces Cancer man. Don't know who this is. He can be an artist as well. There's some upsetting news when it comes to when it comes to him being a magician. Something about this. He could be a father figure man. This could be Ray J too. But Ray J is an earth sign man. So, but this is a father figure in the past who's some upsetting news, and he's going to turn everything around. Okay, so. That's what I get. Y'all, please put down in the comments what you think. Do y'all feel like they y'all y'all want to see them on the world tour? What do y'all think? I want to know y'all opinions. Now, recently, I think in the past, Monica and Brandy did come back after the boys' mind, and they did it all belongs to me. It didn't do so good. But at the same time, you know, it was good to see both of them together again. It was a good feeling. 
reporting one of the most talked about reunions right here. You hear it? It's been 14 years since their <laughs> Grammy Award winning single, The Boy's Mind, heated up the charts. Now Brandy and Monica are teaming up again, a hot new duet. It is called It All Belongs to Me. It's on Monica's <laughs> new album that is out today called New Life. And I know, Brandy, you're working on some new music as well. Yes. Please welcome Brandy and Monica to Good Morning America. <laughs> Okay, why you waited? Why'd you make us wait so long? Fourteen years. Come on. There is no good explanation. <laughs> you know, I can say that the uh, for us as women, we just bonded on our own outside of the music right. industry, which was good for us because you never know what you'll be faced with when you put out songs. And now we can work together, travel together, talk about our kids together, and all this different stuff. Those two little boys you have, well, are they here this morning? No, they are at school. <laughs> they better not be playing hooky to see TT Brandy on TV. <laughs> what you doing? The last song, which was just a mega hit, it was about you guys kind of fighting, fighting over a man yes. <laughs> but this one is a, it's different isn't it it is it's about us coming together as women and being there for each other in you know a difficult relationship that we're both in thank mm. god it's not true <laughs> Amen. because people try and make things that are, are not there but you all are united and you're going to continue to make some music together absolutely okay well we can't wait to hear it they're singing their first duet in 14 years i wish i could stay here and sing it with them but i'm going to go over there it all belongs to me brandy and monica <laughs>
I actually loved it. It was it was a good feeling. Um, uh, what was I gonna do? Any more questions about Brandy and Monica? Y'all let me know. Y'all put down in the comments. Anyways, we moving on. So now we're gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm sorry. Let's see what the final outcome is. God dang. Y'all gotta remind me. What is the final outcome? Please stay in the room. Brandy and Monica, spirit guys, please stay in the room. What is the final outcome when it comes to this world tour with Brandy and Monica? It is I get Messiah, but I get the shadow side of Messiah. Okay, Messiah. Exaggerate belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. There's some egos going on with the two girls, y'all. There's gonna be there's some egos. Someone think they're the all in in all. Y'all decide on who you think that is. Uh, where's the book? Messiah. The shadow side of Messiah. Shadow Messiah is convinced of his divine mission and becomes obsessed to a point of psychosis like Jim Jones or Charles Manson. Look at a long term desire to save people, especially in large numbers with the possibility of self delusion in this regard. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well. There you have it. Let me read the angel cards for these girls. Like I said, guys, I don't see it happening. I don't. But spirit, I, I trust spirit. I trust spirit. Don't go by what I say. Trust what spirit says. Spirit, please talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. What angel card do you want to get? And the angel card I get for Brandy and Monica is compassion. Y'all ladies need to show compassion. Okay? Y'all need to show compassion. It's a goddamn shame. Brandy, I mean, Beyonce can show compassion to the girls. What what about you and Brand? Y'all the main, y'all older. Monica, you need to put Gunica away, okay? It's time to grow up. You got kids, you trying to show your kids thugism, put that shit away, Monica. You're too goddamn old for it. Brandy, you supposed to be spiritual. Let's, you know, let's, let's, in which I don't, I don't, I haven't seen nothing problematic with you, Brandy, yet. I have not seen it. So I'm not getting on Brandy. But Monica, your ass needs to change. You ain't 38 no more. You're 43. Okay, so anyways, compassion. Goddamn shame. What would Aaliyah say? What, what would Aaliyah say, huh? What would she say? She probably like, child, this is why I wasn't they friends. This is why I wasn't hanging out with them. Compassion. Compassion. 
Your angels are wrapping a light of compassion around you at this time and guiding you to let go of conflict or the need to prove your point. The more you resist and fight, the unhappier and more drained you will be. Pointing out mistakes or mishaps or concentrating on the negative traits or actions of others will only hold you back. Don't let the unjust actions of others block your experiences of joy and freedom. Take time to review where in your life you may be feeling held back or even consumed by frustration and anger. And ask your angels to shine their light upon you and the situation. Changing how you see yourself will help charge, change how others see you. Angels are surrounding you at this time, encouraging you to see yourself through their loving and holy eyes. All of the ups and downs you have faced, all of the insecurities you have overcome, and all of the setbacks you have moved beyond are testament to your resilience and strength. You have compassion and respect for yourself. Angel wisdom is encouraging you to love and treat yourself the way you would love to be loved and treated by others. Then your own actions will be mirrored back to you by those around you. So ask your angel guide to help you be more compassionate towards yourself now. That's what I got. Show compassion, uh, Brandy and Monica. Now I love you all. Love you ladies. Y'all both are legends. Icons. There won't be nobody else like y'all. Peace, love. And um, guys, we will be back with part three where we will talk about will the matriarch end? Will it be the end of the matriarch? Okay. I'll see you soon. Peace, love. Later. God bless. God bless.